My name is Doug Meyer. I'm with Yeskawa America Incorporated, and we are here today at Pack Expo Las Vegas 2015. And what we have brought here this year, we are introducing our singular control concept for machine automation. What Yaskawa is showing here is just a very simple example of a case packing and case unpacking operation. On the other end, you see a robot that's picking up a simple pattern of pieces, placing it into a simulated case on the conveyor, and then down at this close end, uh, that entire layer is picked up and then distributed back into the individual products. The control concept is a single controller, one machine controller, that handles the control of this six axis of servo, two on this uh, kinematic mechanism, and then the conveyor control and the rotary device here. So we have six axes of individual servo motion control here. You see the amplifiers in this cabinet. And then it also handles the control for the six axis robot on the other end. And the beauty of this system is that you do not need a separate machine controller, separate motion controller, separate robot controller. All of the logic and all of the robot control and all of the servo control is contained in one unit called the MP3300 IEC controller. It's programmed in an IEC 61131-3 programming environment, and it handles everything including the machine logic. One additional component is we have some safety devices here. And we've implemented that also inside of our control. You see some of the green modules here that are uh, regular inputs and outputs. And you see some of the yellow modules, which are the safety inputs and outputs. All of this is over an Ethernet IP networked safety system. And the beauty of that system is once it's configured, we can take those function blocks, import them directly into our main machine controller. And so now we not only have servo control, robot control, machine logic, we also have safety control, all inside the single programmed environment. Okay, at this end of the machine, we're showing you the main operator interface. And uh, the primary thing we're showing here on the main screen is that this machine was programmed using the PACML program architecture. PACML is a standard developed by OMAC, the Organization for Machine Automation and Control. And it specifies uh, 17 states of the machine uh, and the creation of modes. So we have two modes that we can run the machine in. And we know now that we are in production execute state. So we follow this model to drive the operational sequencing of the machine. And when you use this model, it provides a consistent front end uh, for your customers and for all the machines in your plant. It gives you particular benefits for um, integration. When you have maybe machines from different vendors or you're trying to put machines together, you have a, uh, an upstream machine and a downstream machine. It also helps in the collection of data. So because we can measure how much time we spend in each of these defined states, we can easily calculate information like overall equipment effectiveness, which measures your performance rate, your availability, your quality performance, all to roll up into a single number. And what's important is when you use the PACML uh, program architecture and the PACML approach, you know that the data you're collecting is consistent. And so when you roll it up and look at your overall plant performance, you know that you have a good consistent number. I did mention about how the safety is integrated into the machine controller, and that's particularly important because you might need to monitor it. So it's very easy now to create a screen that shows you all of the safety information, again, programmed in that same singular programming environment.